Hello and welcome back to Vlog Every Day in August, the show identical to Vlog Every Day in April, plus an extra day. So there's a Tangled TV show coming out and I could not be more excited about it. You'll soon discover that Tangled is one of my favorite films of all time and I'm very, very much looking forward to again seeing the characters and world and story that I've come to know and love since 2010. The reason why I thought we'd talk about it today is because Frozen is also getting a sequel like a whole other theatrical movie. These two announcements have forced me to think about the nature of the sequel. Now, sequels have been around forever. Toy Story 2, Back to the Future 2, Superman 2, uh, they're all testaments to the fact that you can have a property continue successfully and arguably with better quality. Harry Potter and the Marvel Cinematic Universe likewise have proven that you can continue a property more and more beyond that of just one sequel, an entire franchise. But several other sequels have proven that you can have a really good first film that later delivers mediocre at best money grabs like the Star Wars prequels, Cars 2, or even the Disney straight to DVD movies that plagued us in the early 2000s. Those films that Disney is responsible for were bad enough at home, so it's a little worrisome that the most successful animated movie of all time might be getting the same treatment. After all, something like this is a little unprecedented. The only animated theatrical sequels that Disney has produced is the frankly forgettable Rescuers Down Under and the delightfully charming, though financially underwhelming, Winnie the Pooh reboot. Of course, we can't forget that Disney has also produced not-so-excellent animated shows shows like the directly connected Aladdin series or the loose fever dream that is Tailspin. So there's a lot of risk involved with Tangled, the near-perfect film, and Frozen, the smash hit movie, and I think the creators of these properties understand that. There's a lot of the same creative team on both properties, a lot of the same voice actors, and the good old Alan Menken. This is how these two properties are similar, but the difference is, when you get down to it, is that Frozen will have a bigger budget, and Tangled will have more screen time, but this begs the question, which is the better platform for something to continue in, movies or TV? Let's look at Frozen first. The animation was wonderful in Frozen. The snow looked great, the sets were magnificent, and the character designs felt warm and familiar, probably because they look really similar to Tangled. A bigger budget means they can have bigger and better animation, and it also gives them the opportunity to tell an even grander story than they already have. For instance, why Elsa is the chosen one, and what she's chosen for. Tangled as a film looked equally as great, and while another movie outing with these characters would be wonderful, I think, ultimately, I'm just going to appreciate the more time that I have with all these characters. I suppose the point that I'm trying to get to is that, much like my lighting, time is a double-edged sword. If you spend too much time with the characters and too little time with them, then they could easily fall out of fashion for the next big thing that comes around. But if you spend too much time with them, then they could get a lot along in the tooth, and then worse writers would run out of things for them to do. So it's very important to use your time economically and have them do things and have character progression and have them grow and grow with you with the time that you have with them. The world, ironically, will be on fire when Frozen 2 comes out, but I honestly believe that Tangled has the makings for a classic animated series. So the game is entirely in Disney's court and I cannot wait for the House of Mouse to serve the ball. Make sure to tell me which property you're most excited for about in the comments and tune in tomorrow where I'll talk about another big controversial upcoming sequel, Toy Story 4. Until then, my name is Name. I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace in Christ and imagine on.